So the first dinosaurs to be named from North America actually came from Montana, and they were found way back in 1854 and 1855, and then shipped east where all the scientists were at that time. So there's really been a long history of fossil discoveries in Montana. And when kids think of dinosaurs, I mean, the classic dinosaurs that they typically name are T-Rex and Triceratops. And those both come from eastern Montana and were found you know, over 100 years ago. My name is David Verkio. I'm a paleontologist at Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. I feel that in doing paleontological work, especially field work where you, you get hints of, of dinosaur life 75 million years ago, I feel like it's just this, this small window opens up that goes all the way back 75 million years and you get this small view of what was taking place there and that, and that really excites me. No, you haven't found eggshell yet. You found calcite but not eggshell. They range from maybe just over a centimeter long to some are like four centimeters long. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, wow. So there's a whole bunch in situ. These have some really nice textures. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. The first time I came to Montana was with a geology field trip as a requirement for my undergraduate degree. But we looped through Montana for about two weeks, and I was like, ooh, Montana. I don't know, somehow the landscape was really cool, and I really liked it. And I thought, oh, wow, I really need to get back to Montana. So this is the 78 nest site. Um, so Jack Horner and his pal Bob Mackler came out here, and they dug up this area, and they collected about 14 individuals. A lot of my work was for paleontology was up here along the, the eastern front of the Rockies. And it's short grass prairie. Often it's a mile or two before you can actually see a tree. So it's a, sort of a, a big open wide space. It's truly the, the big sky of Montana. So it's very different from where I grew up. I grew up in Pennsylvania. And when I came out first here to, to do field work, I would stand in, in an area like, like Egg Mountain and this, this giant openness was, was beautiful and on a grand scale, but it also, it also kind of made me uneasy in some ways too, because I was used to the sort of the rolling hills and the trees of, of eastern Pennsylvania. It took me a long time to go, wow, this is, this is the landscape that I'm familiar with and comfortable with. That seems like that's all sand, it goes sand all the way up to where the upper people are sitting. It's weird. It is kind of weird. Because it's thicker there, it seems like. Yeah. Dipping at about 40 degrees. Yeah. I feel like everything's changing so much. You know, I studied the geologic past, so things change in geologic time. I think there's always things changing. Nothing stays the same. So I guess in some ways I feel like, oh, it's inevitable that, that places change. Bozeman's changed quite a bit since I first moved there, so that's 20-some years. Primarily just in growth, so the city has gone from uh, a cozier town to a uh, slightly less cozy town. I feel, I feel like the sense of the place is still pretty similar to when I first got there, but, but it has grown. It does kind of surprise me that there's that many cars, and that makes me, I don't, I don't know, I guess I feel like a little disappointed that there's much more asphalt and concrete and, and vehicles and pollution and stuff like that. So I guess it's hard for me to, to really say that I'm a real Montana. I've been here over 20 years, and I kind of have an odd profession. You know, I'm linked with the university, and I do dinosaurs, so it's kind of an odd role <laughs> in, in American culture to, to begin with. So I'd feel more like a Montana if I worked in an in agricultural field, ranching or farming, that was linked to the land. I'm, I'm linked, I feel like I'm definitely linked to the land through paleontology. Through, through the geologic record. So to me, when I look at a map of Montana, I kind of get a sense of where the, where the ocean was back in the Cretaceous and where the land was and where you could find dinosaurs, where you could find marine reptiles and seashells and things like that. So that's like being in Montana from way, way back.